Sorry about that technical glitch, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we got cut off because Eric was very ferocious, uh, pissed off with Matt, took, took out one of our cameras. But you haven't missed much. We got our cam- while well, in the process of getting our cameras to the back, we see Pranav being confronted by, um, DEST1 Minyor. And apparently has information regarding their match, so let's uh, listen in. Yeah, what's it to you? It's been adjusted. Oh, and I care why. It's a 2-3 falls now. Meh, still don't care, I'm still going to beat your ass all the way around this ring and crowd. I just have to kick your legs off now till sunset. Good luck in trying. Don't need luck. I have skill. Something you don't. Ooh, pretty cold there from uh, Minyar. Whatever. We'll see in a bit. So. Those two not happy. Uh, it looks like Pranav doesn't give two shits about his match. He just wants to beat the shit out of uh, ISA, uh, DEST. So. Our next matchup for the evening is going to, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Don versus Dana. Which is interesting. We saw them confront two weeks ago. About eliminations in the Royal Rumble, and we saw last week Don playing dirty with his normal book. Uh, once again, one dirty, and that's gonna put a little bit of a piss off mark on um, Adina's shoulder. Because he got hit by the ball basher twice and then into something else, so. Don. You haven't seen him in a couple weeks besides uh, his, uh, what we have seen him. He's been, looks like he's still uh, in working order after going through that table at the hands of Corey Kerr. When Corey Kerr decided to enough with Don's bullshit and took advantage of it. See if uh, Don's able to uh, stick back into the dirty bag of tricks and beat Adina one more time. But I think uh, Adina's seen all his tricks, so we'll see uh, if he's able to rise above them. But it is Don, and well, he's a cheating motherfucker. He's worse than a cheaty face. But Adina, he's got to be a little bit pumped at the little pep talk he got last week before he got his ass shattered by Don. But. And he's got a piety pump because he's been watching uh, the matches from 4X and Pot Pranav, so he's probably got no problem digging into that little toy box he's got on uh, moves and shit, so. Should be an interesting one here. Hopefully, uh, Adina is able to uh, be able to deal with. Um, Don and uh, rise above his trickery and other bullshit like that. Only time will tell, so... Um, 
Hey, at least my announce table's back together now. It's twice it's been destroyed. But anywho, here we go, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. This should be an awesome matchup between these And John two. opens up with a DDT. Somewhat of a running DDT, but nevertheless a DDT. Don goes behind, goes to push him up into the headlock, drives the elbow right to Don's head, Dina's face. Goes back to the head, goes another shot to Adina's face. And Don throws it in the corner and shoulder thrusts him. Don measuring him up for something, but Adina's able to roll away from it. Adina goes to headlock, drops an elbow to the face of his own. Dina goes behind, spins a standing switch down around, and calls another shot to John's face. Don kicks the midsection, goes behind. Adina counters into a headlock. Don counters into a wrist lock takedown. And Don takes another shot to Adina's head and hits a twisting neck breaker there uh, off on uh, Don. And, oh, God. Damn it! Shit! Motherfuckers! Dina, you don't need the damn table! But they're gonna lock up on the outside. And Adina's got the wrist lock. Don counters into a headlock of his own. Drops an elbow to Adina's face. Throws Adina into the apron, back into the ring. Drops an elbow. And Don running around. And Adina. Takes a step outside and Adina catches with that right hand from the outside. It's a beautiful uh, roundhouse kick there. A little stutter drop kick there and Adina sidesteps uh, down into the corner and beautiful hits the um, I just can't get over the physical. Double foot to the man. chest, move this off the corner. Brutal. Solidly executed. Drops an elbow on the back. Another couple of punch combinations into a kick. A fever pitch is here. In the Adina spins down universe. around in the corner. And just wow. Busts him open with the head, but Don breaks out of it and then busts it open. But Adina goes right back on the attack. But Don counters and throws him into the corner. Now shoulder thrust to the midsection. Adina punches, kicks, counters, and he gets thrown to the ropes. Stops himself, but Don goes behind. Nice little uh, takeaway there. Don catches the punch. Don goes to a wrist lock. He's going for that arm breaker, but too close to the ropes. Don kicks to the midsection. Goes to the wrist lock. Adina counters, goes behind. And Don goes to a hammer lock and pushes Adina away. Donna punches. Nice little combination there. And sees Adina right to the floor below. And then freaking hip tosses him. And elbow. And Don starts dropping elbows on the shoulders and neck of uh, Adina. Finally, uh, Adina gets a little reading room. Oh, and God, just belly to back suplex on the steps. That's gonna feel it in the morning. Oh, and then throws him into sets across the ways. Adina doesn't give a shit. He's got that chip on his shoulder, it's a spinning leg drop. They run into each other, they get back in the ring. Adina goes for a headlock. Drops the elbow across the throat. And Adina's calling for it. What's he calling for? Beautiful! What the hell was that? That was a new move out of Adina. That looked like a tilt, a tilt world head scissor spike DDT. Here's a cover too. Three! Holy shit! That move is just pretty. Whatever the hell it was. Adon got dropped right on his damn head. With that head scissors.
That was a hell of a leg scissor spike DDT out of Adina there, pouring a new trick out of his arsenal. It looks like Adina got a little bit of his just desserts back. And what the fuck we got? Oh, crap. It's only me one thing. Someone's getting attacked. God damn it, Vlad. Cameras are running to the back. What are they doing now? And, oh fuck, who's this now? And, who's here? They're taking their sweet time to get out, shit. Wait, there's a matter. Oh, shit. It's Big Mike. That can't be good. And who's he in tow with? Jesse Stansfield? What the fuck are these two doing here? That's something different. That's going to be interesting to find out what they're doing here for. Because, to my knowledge, they're not set up for any matches this evening. Unless they're coming in to do some workout or some shit. But, they're not on the card and... Pranav's getting ready for his match. The first part of our main event is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. And this will be a... DST's ready to go, and uh, Pernov is ready to go. And let to refresh those, this is going to be match one of our main event of the evening. And it's going to be a best two out of three falls match. Which means, uh, for those that are wondering, your objective is to beat your opponent twice. And if uh, each one has a one, it goes to a sudden death. The first one for pinfall or submission after the fact wins the match. So while we're getting set up for that, should be an interesting match nevertheless. Yeah, I'm still curious what Jesse and Big Mike are here. You haven't seen them in a couple weeks. Jesse had a fantastic match with uh, Marcus, so as Pranav makes his way down in the ring. Yeah, these two have had a, a very interesting match. Haji won the first. The EST won the second, so here's the tiebreaker. Well, that's going to be physical regardless, ladies and gentlemen. As we put my table back together one more time. Alright, my table's back together. You have one guy that's going to punch you to death, and then you have this guy who is going to kick you to death. He's extremely well trained. Damn master of close quarter combat.
This is probably going to be a classic here, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Match one of our main event. Here we go. And DEST opens up with those kicks. Throws Pranav into the corner. Pranav gets out of it. Punches him, elbows him in the face. Pranav hits a clothesline, but DEST sidesteps it. Goes for an insiguri, you know, overshot horribly. Pranav catches him, hits a scoop slam on him. Picks him up. And hits a Palmetto Gut Buster on uh, DEST. Picks him up, but ISF, uh, DEST catches his hand and does a single leg leg screw. God, that looked tight. But Pranav is able to twist out of it, and Pranav goes behind in the belly to back suplex. Stomps on him, but a DES in one's way with it's a rolling leg kick. That wheel kick is just physically hurting. Single leg takedown, drops a knee into the Pranav's legs. Hits a spinning leg drop. Hits another wheel kick. And again, DEST is countering with dragon screws left and right. Nice little head scissor take out there. Kick to the midsection, goes behind. Shot block. Yes, he goes to the headlock. And another just working on that leg of Pranav. That's not good. DSC comes back with his own dragon screw takedown. Pranav locks up on the head. Hits a big European uppercut. Stomps and a DESC rolls away. Pranav goes to a wrist lock. A DEST counters into a headlock. Pranav switches it again to a wrist lock and a DESC switches it for a fourth time. And they stalemate. They catch each other with a couple of right hands. DESC goes back to the wrist lock. Pranav counters goes to the headlock. And DESC counters again. And Pranav go, uh, counters and goes behind. Snapmare takedown. Pranav goes behind. Beautiful slam there. It's a big clothesline. Goes to Kitman midsection, but runs another dragon screw takedown. Picks Pranav up. DST goes behind. Another chop block to that same knee he's been working on all match. And DEST going for the submission fin submission win. But Pranav says no. Stomps on him. DST goes behind. Pranav switches the same switches again. Beautiful twisting nap breaker there. We go to the wrist lock. Pump handle drop again. It's a leg larry, but nobody home. Almost carried the keep the ref, but they're both kicking mother sections. They exchange shots. And Pranav counters with a jawbreaker. And Pranav puts DEST into a Boston Crab single leg. And gets away from it. Hits a spinning leg drop. Pranav goes to the headlock. DEST counters the headlock of his own. Two of our first throw this DEST. Side kick to the swell in the back. Swing leg drop and nobody home. Ninja. 
Single leg takedown. EST picks him back up and hits a Lupez press. Here's the cover. One. DES Pradam says no. Oh, well, he's going for it. The 614. Hits the 614. Springboard belly slot. Here's the cover. Pradam says no with what one. And they go exchanging locks up back and forth now. Pernog hits his own Lufez press. And a little DSC, a bit of his own medicine. Not a leg a wheel kick that goes awry. DSC and Pernog lock up in the wrist lock, spin through it. Standing moonsault there from DEST. And Pranav firing up. Kicks the midsection. DSC goes for a drop kick. Beautiful. Hits another drop kick. Picks up DEST. Kicks the midsection. Hits the clothesline in the corner. Sits him out and puts him in the moose knuckle, but he's too close to the ropes. And DEST gets out of it. And uh, we will be right back, ladies and gentlemen, after uh, DEST lands his kick, throws him in the corner. Be right back. <laughs> 